Hey kids, today I've got another exciting animal story for you. Let's get reading. Okay kids, our story for today is called Elephant and the New Toy. Say it with me. Elephant and the New Toy. That's right kids, good job. Let's get into our story. There is a country called Zambia in the continent called Africa where a lot of elephants live in the jungle. Amongst these elephants, there is a small one called Nzo. Now, everyone knows that elephants take very, very long time to have children. In fact, it takes elephants 12 months. That is a whole year to have a baby. Zoe's family was like that. It took a long time for Zoe to be born. As such, he was the only child in the elephant family. Because of this, Zoe got used to being the only baby in the family. He loved this very much because he would get attention from anyone at any time. Every elephant always did something for Nzo because he was so cute. All toys were always for him. Nzo especially liked the holidays and birthdays. He knew that all presents and toys were for him from the biggest ones to the smallest ones. He never had to share anything. I am the luckiest child in the whole world, Zo used to say every single day. Then one day, Zo's family had another baby kids, another elephant. It was a beautiful girl elephant. Nzo now had a baby sister. She was very beautiful and everyone liked her. At first, Nzo was happy that he was now a big brother. It made him feel very big. However, as elephants started coming to see the new cute baby, Sama, Nzo became very sad. No one was looking at him anymore or saying how cute he was. No one even brought presents for him anymore. Joe started to feel like he was now ugly kids. One more, Joe's family decided to go and stay in another part of the jungle where many animals lived. There were lots of different animal children and babies there. Nzo realized that he was no longer the only one everyone saw as cute and small. There were now many cute and small animals. Because children were many, that jungle always had many birthday parties and celebrations. It made Nzo very unhappy that all the parties were no longer for him alone, kids. He felt so sad that he started not to be happy for the other children when they had their parties, even for his own sister. Now one day, Nzo's parents brought home a very big present box. It was very, very big, kids, and Nzo got very excited. He waited for his parents to open the box, but they did not. He waited for someone to give him the box, but no one did. Nzo wanted to start to stay annoyed. He wanted what was in the prison box so much. Maybe it's not for me again, Nzo complained to himself. Maybe it's for my stupid little sister again. Why did she come here? 
Why did we come here where there are many children and I am no longer everyone's favorite anymore? Zo started crying as he looked at the big box kids. Suddenly, Zo felt so much anger inside that he decided to open the present box without permission, kids. He opened it quickly and found a very big ball inside. It was the biggest, nicest ball he had ever seen. Wow! Zo smiled and felt very, very happy. Yay! So got excited and started playing with the ball kids. No one was around, so he did not mind. He kicked the ball, threw it about, dribbled it, and threw it into the air with his trunk. Oh, what fun he had! He took the big ball and threw it high up in the air. Suddenly, the ball got stuck in the tree he was playing under kids. Ooh! Zo so got such a fright when he realized that the ball will not come down. He was too small to reach up the tree, kids. He tried stretching his trunk, but it could not reach. He tried blowing hard into the ball, but it was too high. He thought of calling for help, but he was afraid. He knew that he had taken the present box without permission. Opened the present box without permission. Took out the ball without permission. And played with the ball without permission, kids. Nzo knew that he was in a lot of trouble. Ooh. He started panicking. Then he thought about shaking the tree. He had seen other big elephants do that. Nzo shook the tree with all his strength, kids. He shook and shook. But he was too small to shake the big tree. He shook and shook and nothing happened. Then he shook and shook again. And suddenly he heard a large plop. So looked up and nearly fell down with shock, kids. The ball had deflated. It had gone next to a thorn in the tree and the thorn pricked it. Up. All the air came out of the ball with a big whoosh. So cried out, ah, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Oh, I wish I had not opened that box without permission. What am I going to do? Zoe tried everything, kids, but he could not get the deflated ball out of the tree. He just decided to go back and close the box with nothing inside. Then he sat in a corner sadly. That evening, Zoe's parents called him. Zoe! Zoe went to them with his stomach feeling funny, kids. He was so afraid. Zoe, my son, said his mother, smiling. We, your parents, know that this time has not been easy for you. With the birth of your baby sister, Sama, and moving to a new jungle. Yes, said Zoe's father. We know that a lot has changed for you, and you are no longer the only child around. We know how stressful that is and how that can make you feel like we do not love you anymore. But your father and I noticed that you have been a very good elephant and did not complain, said his mother. That is right, his mother said. We want to let you know that we love you still and no one can take your place no matter what. 
And because you have been patient with all the changes, we decided to get you something special. Here is a very big present for you. Open it and see what's inside. Elephant was so scared, kids. His heart was beating fast and he started to sweat. He did not know what to do, but he knew that he could not be rude to his parents. And so, with trembling hands, he slowly opened the empty box. What is going on? his mother asked. She and his father looked very confused when they saw the empty box. When his parents looked at him, Zoe could not take it anymore. He burst out crying. I'm sorry, mommy. I'm sorry, daddy. It was me. I was angry and jealous because I thought the present was not mine. <laughs> because I thought you did not love me anymore. <laughs> I opened it, played with it, and I broke the ball. So cried and cried, kids. His parents were not happy. So we showed them what had happened to the ball. When they saw it, they laughed so hard. <laughs> Zoe was confused. We are not happy with you doing things without permission, his father explained. Because of that, you damaged your own toy. However, his mother said, we understand what you were feeling and we know how hard changes can be for anyone so we are not angry Zoe was happy they all hugged and laughed Zoe still had to do some chores for misbehaving kids but his parents later got him another toy the end well that's it kids be sure to watch another Jungle Tale. Bye.